everybody, it's Heather, the Butterfly Effect Raw Food Vegan Weight Loss. And today is Friday, and um, it's supposed to be Fitness Friday for me. Um, I'm a little bummed lately because um, I did something to my right knee sometime this weekend, probably helping my daughter move. Um, totally worth it. I would do it again, but anyway, my knee is out of sorts and it's making it really difficult to do the things I like to do, which is walking and I'm just a little discouraged on that. So what I'm doing is just doing as much as I can and um, still trying to do my normal routine and, and just just work it out and walk it out. So anyway one cool thing is I did join a gym and so I'm gonna take my first Zumba class tomorrow and I'm gonna try it and if it hurts my knee too much I'll just stop but um, it's not my first Zumba class but it's my first Zumba class since um, losing weight this time and so I'm excited to try it and a little bit scared and so just think of me <laughs> say, say a prayer for me out there um, I'm not very coordinated of a person I think it's just hard to move a big body around um, it's a lot harder I know that when I was a kid well when I was in high school I was able to tap dance and I was still probably like 180 pounds or something so but even then I was able to dance and do things like that and so it's just harder to move this much of me around to, as quickly as it needs to move so we'll see we'll see how it goes I um, I think I'll like it I liked it before so I don't know I'll tell you tomorrow um, things I'm thinking about today really my mind was going to kind of grief but not the kind of grief that I've experienced for the last couple years um, I talked about it before I lost both my parents within six months of each other and it was really hard and really threw me for a loop um, and that has been something that I've you know been just you can't even say you're like working on it or dealing with it it's just something where you have to surrender to it and just let the pain wash over you and just learn to be with the pain <laughs> um, and that has been a real lesson for me because I always want to fix things I always want to work on things and have a program and have a 10 point plan for how to do anything better and it was something where I just had to, you know, feel what I felt, which was terrible <laughs> and sad. And, um, you know, I still miss them every single day, but it feels like it's getting easier to deal with day to day without, without feeling completely overwhelmed by it, to feel the feelings without being completely drowned by the feelings. And, I find that I have that grief with other things in my life and that was really what I wanted to talk about today you know um, when I decided to go raw this time or you know I would say I decided to go definitely vegan and mostly raw and I just knew that there were some foods I was just never going to eat again and that as silly as it sounds that's a little grief too you know you mourn the things that you're not going to eat anymore and now I already feel like I'm past it like that's it's just it's fine um, but I I want to tell somebody who's there right now like I have um, my sister who's giving up sugar and you know she's really giving up sugar like she's she's doing a no cheating given up the sugar and I know she's gonna feel so much happier on the other side of that but it's really hard on her right now she really misses the taste of 
having sugar in her coffee and things like that. And I just want to tell anybody that is struggling with those feelings, it does get better. It definitely does get better, just like the pain of grief gets better over time. Um, and I have a funny thing that all my clothes, you know, um, when you are as big as I was, so picture I was wearing 4Xs and 5Xs, you know, and filling out every inch of them when I was over 400 pounds. You have to work hard to get a wardrobe, especially a work wardrobe. So everything that I had in my wardrobe, I really, you know, put out effort and money and time into finding anything that would fit and that would look good. And now, all of a sudden, it's wonderful, but none of that stuff fits. Of course it doesn't fit. I'm wearing more like a 3X in most things now, definitely not a 5 or a 4X, you know, definitely not where I was. And so it's just funny to have, well, just picture none of your clothes fit you overnight. Now I've had that situation before with the clothes getting too small. <laughs> I had that a lot, but um, it doesn't seem like it happens overnight. There's always something that fits, but now I'm in a situation where almost nothing fits. And I had gotten rid of all my smaller clothes before and um, so I really didn't keep anything that was from before. So all of my clothes are leaving at once and it's not like I won the lottery and I just have lots of money to get lots of great clothes. What I'm doing is buying one or two things that I really like, that are really flattering and um, that make me happy and to be very honest, I had way too many clothes. I had way too many clothes. I was getting to be kind of clothes hoardery, but boy, I sure don't have that situation now. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, it's a weird feeling. I'm kind of mourning for some of my favorite outfits. Like what I'm wearing now has happy memories. Um, I wore it when I was in Europe and I went to tea at the Kensington Palace and you know, you kind of dress up to go do that. And um, anyway, I have happy memories from a lot of my outfits and I can keep the memory and let someone else have the clothes. And this sounds funny, but I would love for somebody who does wear like a 4X or a 5X, you know, is as large as I was then to get my clothes. I'd rather do that than just give them to charity or to a resale shop. Um, again, because I know how hard it is to find cute things when you're that size. It's like, it's like trying to find plus size clothes, but 10 times harder to find things that are that big. So if somebody out there is wearing those 4Xs and 5Xs, let me know and I'll figure out if I can try to get you at least the cutest and the nicest of my old wardrobe. <laughs> I would be happy to do that. Um, just to see it, you know, end up with somebody else who would like it. So I am thinking about what I'm going to get and I'm trying to get excited about that. And, um, just again, I think all you can do with grief is kind of sit with that emotion and try to focus on something good. The sooner you can focus on something good, the sooner you can move things along. I just want to say that even though I get frustrated with how long this is taking, it seems like it's taking so long. And um, I do take a lot of solace in the fact that I am doing it every day. It's just the consistent, consistent, consistent actions that I, I can be proud of. I can take um, some kind of joy in the fact that I have, you know, several days in a row, so like months in a row where I've eaten the right things, done the exercise, gotten the sleep, drunk the water, reached out for the emotional support, you know, lather, rinse, repeat. That is how you do it. That is how you do it. 
It's not a 10 day cleanse or a 30 day challenge or a train for this marathon or a get ready for that high school reunion or for your wedding or whatever. It's the boring in and out, eat the right thing, do your exercise, get your sleep, drink your water, reach out for your emotional support. It's as simple as that. We make it hard, but that is what gets the job done. If you're wondering what gets the job done, that's what gets the job done. Eat vegan, eat raw as much as you can, get your sleep, get in three liters of water or so, eat lots and lots of fruits and veggies, more than you eat of fats, and um, eat lots and lots of greens. It's as simple as that, guys. I hope you have a great weekend, and I hope that you could follow all the discombobulated thoughts on this video. <laughs> I love you guys. I hope you have a great, great weekend, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.